Hello guys, my name is Harry and welcome back to the Minecraft mod tutorial for Minecraft 1.12.2 and also 1.13 in the future. In this episode we are going to be redoing the tools and armor in the same method that we did our item. So let's get started. Firstly, copy our item nine times as we're going to have the five tools and the four different pieces of armor. Change ingot here to axe, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword. Then also helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots. Then you need to change the names accordingly. Once you've named everything, you're also going to want to change item base to the specific thing. So we're going to have to do tool axe. Copy this into each one, but then obviously change this to hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and sword. Then this here is going to be armor and base. So armor base, as each of the armor pieces of armor have their own specific thing. So copy this into each one and leave it as it is. So we're going to create each class. We're going to ignore axe for now as that's a bit more complicated, but for the hoe, put it in dot objects, dot tools, and it's going to extend item hoe and implement I has model. Control shift O to input item hoe. We are then need to go into add the constructor. In front of the constructor, put string name and then comma tool material and super off of material. Then you can open up the item base, drag it to the side so it's next to it and then copy all these lines, set on localized name, set registry name, set creative tab and item in it, dot items to add and put it in your creative tab if you've added it, which I haven't yet. And you're also going to want to copy the register models. If you save that, it will give an error. But we will ignore that for now. And basically create each of the, the tools in the same way. So tool pickaxe is going to extend pickaxe. Tool shovel is going to extend shovel. At least it's going to extend spade. And tool sword is going to extend sword. armor base we're going to create class put it in dot objects to armor extend item armor and implement i has model input item armor add the constructor and then copy everything from item base and add string name at the start of this and that's everything done now in item in it we're going to want to comment each of the different types of item. So put items, tools, and armor. We are then going to want to create a new section called materials. And we are going to create a tool material and armor material. Public, static, final, tool material, tool, underscore copper, is equal to enum helper dot add tool material the name tool underscore copper the harvest level and all that if you hover over tool material we can see everything I'm going to make um make mine between stone and iron so I'm gonna copy stone copy all the harvest level and stuff I'm gonna make it have a harvest level of two like iron does and the durability of 180 which is in between make it have an efficiency of 5 and a damage of 1.5 obviously you can make any of these values anything you can make them absurdly large you can make something have a have a harvest level that's greater than diamond and then if you were to create a block that had a harvest level greater than diamond only your pickaxe would be able to mine it. You could create, increase the efficiency or the damage or anything like that. I'm going to copy this, paste it below, write armor material, 
call it armor copper. It seems to be the American spelling. Enum helper dot add armor material. It's going to be very similar, but a bit different at the same time. Firstly, the name is going to be armor underscore copper. Then the texture name is going to be reference dot mod ID plus colon then your material so copper then just like tool material we can hover over arm material and we can look at the things i'm going to make mine be between chain mail and iron so i'm going to copy all the numbers from chain mail replace all the words here and if you hover over add arm material you can see what each one means the durability is put at 15 i'm going to put it as 13 this isn't just 13 durability it's a different value then I'm going to look at what iron has. It has 2562. So I'm going to make mine 2552. These are the values that it will protect you against. So th this is helmet, leg, chest plate, leggings, and boots. How much they protect you. Then if we hover over this again, enchantability. This really doesn't matter. I'm going to put it as 10. Then the sound event that you want to get when it plays. You can do custom sounds when we get onto that. Or you can just do um, one of the things here. I'm just going to do ice armor equip iron as copper is kind of like iron. And the last bit here is toughness. I'm going to leave it as zero as that's a spe special thing for diamond or some more overpowered armors. Then now you're going to want to hover over tool hoe. Add the thing and type tool copper. Copy that. Actually copy that, that and, the word, and the comma and paste it into each of the things and also axe copper even though we haven't done tool axe yet then copy armor copper and you don't want to put it inside of helmet copper so copy and paste it into each one there's also a couple more things it wants it wants the render index which is going to be which file and um, the texture is in so helmet is one chest plate is one leggings is two and boots are one and then you know on entity equipment slot dot head for helmet entity equipment slot dot chest for chest plate legs for leggings and feet for boots. That's almost everything done. Obviously, we want the tool axe. So, we're going to create class tool axe. Put it in the tools again. This is going to extend item tool instead of item axe. And it's obviously going to implement IHAS model as well. I'm going to get my code from my previous axe. And then I'll go through and explain it with you. If you have followed the previous tutorials, you can obviously use your original. So, custom axe. I'm going to copy all this into here. Control Shift O to import everything. Item, java.util, net.minecraft.block, and block material. Check, click change to constructor. And remove item dot and then that is it, we, except that we need to set the creative tab, put it in tools. I have actually forgot to do this for all the other ones. They all need to be in the tools creative tab or your own custom one. And then we also need to do item in it dot items dot add um, this. Then this, oh, I'll go through it now. Effective on, this is all the blocks that will be mined quickly with an axe. So blocks.planks, blocks.bookshelf, blocks.log, blocks.log2, and all that. As well as if you ever make any wood type blocks, you're going to want to come in here and add your wood type blocks into this set. And then we're also going to need to add the register models function, which we can copy from item base. And that's all of tool axe. Click save on your item in it, and that's everything done. So your all your tools and armor are in here. Now for resources, um, you're going to want in first thing textures. You want textures dot models dot armor, and then you're going to want to 
for anyone new, you you can follow the, the, the old armor tutorial, or just get the original Minecraft the original Minecraft um, armor thing, which I will show you. It looks like yeah, the original two. There's two different layers. Layer one and layer two. Layer one obviously will have the helmet, chest plate, and boots that we said were on layer one and leggings on layer two. So I'm gonna drag these into my models to armor. And you'll have to create your own called the thing you names your um the thing you put for the texture name, so copper mine was underscore layer one and underscore layer two. You are also going to want each individual armor texture and each individual tool texture as well. Drag all them into the items. We're going to have to rename it to these textures to have copper on the end and then the type of item on the front. So let's do that now. There we are. Then for models item, I'm also going to drag this in and drag all these into the item. And the same for them, we're going to have to rename each one to have the act, to have the type first, then the then the copper. And we're also going to have to go into each of these. And we have to change each of these to TM or your mod ID. And also each of these to axe underscore copper. Well, the rearranged name. If you get any errors while loading, it's likely that you've named one of these wrong or referenced the texture wrong. Or for me, I might have put TM instead of HM all the way around. So just check in there first. Then the lang, I'm going to have to go through and change each of copy this nine times and change each of them accordingly. And then after we've named each of the File names, we're going to have to change each of these from copper ingot to their reference things, just like that. And then if you made the same mistake as me, you're going to have to go through and set the creative tab for each of these. So creative tab dot tools for the armor and also tools for every single one of these. And if you click control shift S, it'll save all. Now that's all done, they should all appear in the same tab. By the way, the original Creative Tab tutorial is still relevant, so I won't be doing an updated version as it's exactly the same. So you can use the original Episode 6, I believe, to create your own custom Creative Tab. So I'm going to have a look in Tools. We find the axe, the pickaxe, the shovel, the sword, and the hoe. And also the helmet, chest plate. I'm going to quickly put these on. As we can see, they appear on my person. Leggings and boots. If you boots. have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. As you can see, we've made all our tools, all our armor, our block, our item. It's all going really successfully. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button down below if you have enjoyed this video or find it useful. And subscribe for more tutorials and also F1 videos if you're interested in them. Thanks for watching, my name's been Harry, and goodbye.